Jimbo here with Matt Vaselli breaking down some stacking options for tonight's slate. Uh, I got our Monday slate, about what, 11 games tonight. Uh, really good pitching, a lot of expensive pitching. That's kind of thrown a wrench into how we're processing stacks because we're looking to pay down and trying to get a little bit more points per dollar value. Yeah, I mean, uh, we're used to, you know, just trying to find some mid-tier pitcher and getting those expensive uh, stacks that we love so we can just watch the points go up. But tonight's totally different, which – but, I mean, I, I kind of like it. So, um, let's start here with Seattle. Yeah, Seattle's in a good spot. Anibal Sanchez this is a guy who's just, I mean, been off over the last two, three years. Um, been in and out of the bullpen, hasn't looked any better. Um, Seattle, not that expensive. I mean, you know, Nelson Cruz, Robinson Cano, sure they're going to be a little bit pricey, but – the other guys kind of balance it out a little bit. Yeah, I, I mean, um, Annabelle's terrible, so, you know, I'm going to be loving this spot. But, yeah, I mean, uh, Corey Seager – or, I'm sorry, Kyle Seager on uh, DraftKings, 3,400. That's just ridiculous in this spot. Um, ben Gamble, 42, if you want to go him. Hanniger, 43. I mean, it's a little pricey, but, um, I mean, there's going to be some value tonight, definitely. And, uh, you know, I'm looking to pitch Kershaw everywhere tonight. So, if I can put them in with Kershaw, I'm probably going to have to find a cheap pitcher. But there's a couple that we kind of like. So, I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I love Seattle here. Yeah, in a good spot. I mean, is there any way that maybe you just make it a three-man? Um, yeah, I, I mean, I think I, I could because I think there's other better spots I could go besides Hanniger at 4,300, you know? Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, all right, you know, you can pay for Cano and Cruz and a Seager. Um, but, yeah, I mean, you know, maybe drop down a, an extra thousand off the Hanniger if someone's in the lineup. Yeah, I mean, um, well, I mean, I'm not going to play – as much as he's been on fire, I'm not going to play Zunino at 4,100. That's just crazy to me. Yeah, there's no way I'm paying up a catcher at night. No, no. It it doesn't make sense. So, um, yeah, I mean, three-man works. Uh, I do – I will be interested in the five-man if maybe we do get a couple weird guys in there. Uh, Like, like Dyson's priced up too. I mean, we're going to have to get some – you know, maybe if, like, Carlos Ruiz or somebody gets in the lineup, you know, like just something totally off where he's 2,600 and I could – okay, I'm going to pay that same price anyway for a catcher. I might as well just add him into the stack, you know. Right. That's the thing. I mean, this is one of those nights where, you know, you and I are talking. It's just we want to really see lineups before we can start building the process out. Yeah, definitely. So I, I like Seattle. Um, let's talk about, since we've been talking about this a lot, let's talk about that odd Cub stack. Yeah, this one, I, so, you know, got a couple of guys questionable. Jason Hayward questionable. Addison Russell's questionable. Yeah, Clayton Richard on the hill, um, away from home. This guy's been bad. Uh, allowing a ton of home runs, even with his ground ball rate. Um, 355 Woba. I mean, this is a good spot for some of these righties. I mean, and some of them are starting to actually come around. Like Contreras had a nice weekend. Yeah, he's finally starting to heat up. He's been struggling for a while, but I like him. Um, always love Baez, and I mean, he's just uh, he. I'm Fanduel 2100. That's ridiculous in this spot. Um, we'll see. You know, Chris Bryant will probably be in that stack, like we talked about. We talked about what was it, Russell or no, not Russell. It was Contreras. Oh, Almora. Yeah, I like Almora too. He's cheap too. We we plugged it in on uh, on Fanduel. You can get Almora, Baez, Contreras, and uh, Kershaw with Chris Bryant all together, and you were still left like three thousand. Like it, it's ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, which is definitely doable. So I mean, I think that hopefully the lineup really shakes out. I think even if it doesn't, like say Hayward or Russell's in, it breaks it up a little bit. I'm still fine with using it because look at that run total. Uh, Cubs starting to pick it up offensively. Wind's blowing out a little bit. Like, this is a good spot to get a good Cubs stack with a lot of upside with an expensive pitcher. Yeah, and um, we'll, we'll see. I mean, Joe Madden's been, you know, he batted Montero fourth the other day. So, you never know. You could have just some crazy thing where buys in the four hole. I'm more could be in the five hole. Like, who knows? Yeah, yeah, you never know what this lap. But, I mean, definitely a lot of potential there. Um, Cincinnati, we looked at, and it was really cheap, especially on DraftKings. Um, you know, these guys starting to slump a little bit, but – uh, Billy Hamilton, 3-3, three, three, Cozart, 3-7. Yeah, Votto's expensive. Duvall's 3-9, Suarez, 3-1. Um, Odorizzi allows a ton of hard contact. Yeah, um, I actually really like Cincinnati. I might even – I'm going to have to look into it more, but I might even go as far as say they're my favorite team on the night. Like, I just – I always love attacking um, uh, road offenses because I just get that extra inning just in case, you know, things aren't going the way uh, I planned it to. But, yeah, dude, I mean – Suarez, I mean, he's just – he's got those reverse splits. And, I mean, Suarez, 31, Duvall, would you say 39? Like, that's just – that's insane. I mean, you're going to have Cozart up there too. And then, like, you're going to have Billy for the stolen base and Votto just because he's Votto. Like, that's, I think that's an amazing five-man stack, five stack there. 
Yeah, forty five percent of our contact rate to righties. I mean, that's been awful. He's a lot of ton of home runs. Um, you know, lefties obviously he's been a little bit better, but this is still not a good pitcher. I mean, he may go out there and like throw five innings and give like four or five hundred runs, and you get like a, a average bullpen the rest of the way, and they get the DH too. I love it. I love. I just. I. I love the Reds, and I. I. I just feel like as the day goes on, I'm gonna love them even more. I'm just gonna keep playing them everywhere, but which usually is bad. But uh, yeah, I, I love them tonight. I just think um, Odorizzi's just he's been off this entire year, and um, this is just a good spot, especially with them slumping. And I mean, like you said, with their prices, you can still go get Kershaw, Kluber, whatever you want to get up there. Yeah, and they're going to be low owned. I don't think people are going to be on the Reds because you know they don't have an extremely high Vegas total. They're not really going to be popping on anyone's radar. Yep. So. Um, we're talking, I mean, basically because of all the expensive pitching, um, you know, a contrarian way to stack is to pay up and, and pay down a little bit of pitching and nationals against the lefty is always a good way to go. Yep. Um, I just, it's, it's going to be hard for me to do that. Um, I will probably have some one-offs if I, if, as long as I have, you know, some salary, uh, love, love Rendon and I always love him against a lefty. I mean, he's just, his numbers are ridiculous. Um, Zimmerman, he's in a good spot. Murphy and Harper can hit anybody. You know, it's it's a great stack. It just if there was some mid tier pitching, I'd love to throw them in there. I just I can't like I can't do it tonight. Yeah, I, I'm with you. I mean, I just look and go. Uh, it's gonna be too tough for me to pay down because you know we, we don't mind Brad Peacock, but after that, I don't like a lot of lower price options. Right, and if the stack doesn't hit, I mean, you just pray and Peacock and whoever like match Kershaw. You know. Yeah, you just looking like this is one of those ones where you look on your DraftKings like scoring, and there's one little guy way at the end where he hit. <laughs> that's not yeah. that's 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 that lineup. <laughs> yeah, that's that lineup exactly. I just I just want to pay up for all those, pay up for all that all that pitching up there. Just 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 hope that you know the the value goes off because the value tonight isn't crazy. Like it's the Reds, you know, it's it's the Mariners, like teams that can hit. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not a bad spot to make some bad laps. I mean. You know, we, we looked and there's a couple notable cheap one-offs and there's probably going to be even more once lineups come out. Yeah, I mean, you never know what's going to happen. So I uh, I definitely think that Washington is, which you never say is, is very contrary, but I just I don't see myself doing it tonight. Yeah, I mean, it's one of those ones where if you're rolling out multiple lives, I think, you know, toss it in, sure. But I think the three that we mentioned is going to be where our, our lives are kind of based. Yeah, and I think I think Cincy's my favorite. No, I'm with you. I like them. And I think the Cubs, if that lineup shakes up, they might be more intriguing just because of what you said. Leaving 3K with the Cubs stack and Kershaw left over for other positions is huge. Yeah, it is. So that's going to wrap things up with us. You can head over to DaveFantasyCafe.com to get great tools and content.